curious students, let us see what is there in this question. A pure sample of nucleide A and a pure sample of nucleide B have the same activity at t is equal to 0. Nucleide A has a half-life of t and nucleide B has a half-life of 2t. So to start with, uh, they have the same activity at t is equal to 0. And what is the activity of A and divided by activity of B when t is equal to 4t? So my dear student, in this kind of question, first of all, we must understand what do you actually mean by activity and how, what are the formulas with which we can work around. So um, the activity is written like this. So um, activity A is written by negative dn by dt. You might be remembering in the case of radioactive decay law, we studied that negative dn by dt is equal to lambda n or directly proportional to n. And then it was becoming dn by dt. So it was lambda into n. And uh, accordingly, when we integrated it we got n is equal to n naught e raised to power negative lambda t and we called it the radioactive decay law where lambda is the decay constant n naught is the initial number n is the number of nuclei left and lambda is decay constant yeah this is a bit of theory that i am giving here for the radioactivity but this factor negative dn by dt it is taken to be a and a is the activity of the radioactive sample so activity means like which radioactive sample is having more speed so if somebody is having more speed of disintegration we just say that the activity is really very high it's like that so a is the activity eventually like this comes out to be equal to lambda n isn't it like this negative dn by dt is equal to lambda n so i've taken lambda n n can be written as n naught e that will be written here this value can be written as the initial activity be very careful i have just derived another formula for you so activity is also having the exponential variation absolutely same as that of the number of nuclei and all that so this formula is actually given many at many places but they are not talking about the activity and so students are generally confused like what is activity and how what are the formulas which we have to talk about although activity is a completely different thing from number of nuclei but they are they have the same um, variation they have the same formulas and everything is the same so this activity is given by this formula now the question is activity of this and this so another formula is a naught is equal to lambda n naught a is equal to lambda n this is how they are related with the number of nuclei in the sample now t raised to power 4 so we have to substitute this value here but we do not want to do that isn't it yeah, because that will be unnecessarily bringing in uh, the exponential factor. We do not have those in option. There is another formula. Be very careful. Even this formula is not given anywhere. So n divided by n naught is equal to half raised to power t divided by t half. So I've given you this formula in some of the other videos earlier. So it can be used. This can, formula can be used to find what is the number of nuclei left in the sample when you started with n naught number of nuclei and t half is the half life t is the total time period that you are talking about same formula can be used here so a is equal to a naught is equal to half raised to power t divided by t half same formula this is what we are going to use in this question now so this much is for the background information and this we are going to see now a activity can be written as a naught this divided by t divided by t half now clearly the half life is given for both of the samples time is given for both of the sample we have to find the activity okay so this much is written uh, so you people can note up up to this um, by pausing the video and i'm just uh, uh, deleting this part now yes so our formula that we are going to use is this. So activity of A will be given by A naught. I'm writing A naught because it is same in both of the cases. Uh, half raised to power 
40 is the total time we were talking about and for this the half life is t so 40 divided by t it becomes 4 so a naught divided by 2 raised to power 4 2 raised to power 4 is 16 so a naught divided by 16 is the answer similarly we will find a2 and that is a naught raised half raised to power the time is 40 half life is 2t so it becomes a naught divided by 2 raised to power square isn't it raised to power 2 so it becomes a naught divided by 4 now a1 by a2 we want to have the ratio of this so a1 divided by a2 it will be a naught by 16 and this will be reciprocal and we will multiply the reciprocal here a naught and a naught cancelled out this becomes 1 by 4 so I believe you must be understanding what I am doing it here. Students might be having some problem in the algebra in that part. But uh, if you uh, really concentrate on, the, on this thing, like what I have done, uh, that should not be any problem to you. This is what I am doing. And then I am just reciprocal it and I will multiply these two. So this is what I am getting. And clearly the answer is uh, D for this question. So it's a very deep question, very important question. And I think in the topic of radioactivity, this is the one of the most difficult question that you will ever get. So if you are good with this question, you are good with almost all of the questions of the radioactivity. So this question becomes very important. And remember the background information that I have given to you. Just try to check what are the formulas given in the data booklet. Other formulas you have to remember. So this is how we do this thing. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.